In this video, I'm going to show how we can create a screening room for group chat. So we're just going to uh, join as a director. And we now have a director's room set up here. Now you can create a room as well just by going here and saying green room, one, two, three, or whatever. Just uh, we're now in a new director's room. So we have room, uh, screen room, and green room, one, two, three. I'm going to invite some guests into the screening room. Join camera. So I have invited myself in. And as we can see, I've now uh, appeared in the screening room. As the director, uh, I can press the transfer button and I can send them to the green room. Then I hit OK. And you'll see that I now have changed rooms. As a guest, I still think I'm in the screening room. I don't know I've been transferred. Uh, there's no way for me to know which room I've been transferred to. So there's some security there. Uh, this director is not the same as this director. So now this director of the green room has full control over this guest. And for example, I can kick the guest out. The guest gets kicked out and when they refresh and they come back in, they're now back in the original screening room, not the green room anymore. So if the guest uh, reconnects to the room, they end up back in the screen room, not the green room. This this can cause some problems if the guest has connection issues, but this is a security feature to prevent it uh, someone who got kicked out from re-entering the room. And when we transfer the, another guest, uh, the previous entered room has been saved. So we can move someone here and then we can move them back uh, to the green room as that director. And if you hold control, you can select multiple guests. When you let go of control, or on Mac command, uh, you can essentially transfer multiple guests at a time to the room. Um, again, the guest has no idea they were transferred, and you you have that. Uh, depending on how you want to kind of change uh, a lot of parameters here, you, you do have control over uh, what the guest can see. So for example, if you invite the guest to the screen room, uh, maybe you want to make a link like screen room, uh, and you want to call it uh, view equals host one, host two, host three. Um, the way this works is uh, now when I join as a guest, um, and I invite another guest in with the same sort of link. These two guests will not be able to see each other. They will only be able to see um, They will only be able to see uh, anyone called host one in this case, because I made push equals host one, and I have the guest set to view only host one, host two, host three. So when you create a guest invite link, you can list ahead of time who you want to be um, a trusted peer. And so when you transfer these users uh, from room to room, you can transfer multiple. They'll still see each other. Uh, they'll see anyone who's trusted in that list. Um, this person only sees themselves. Um, hopefully that makes some sense. Uh, if you want to take a, 
an invite and you want to kind of make it so that guests cannot really see what's going on, you can use this service. And now the invite links the guests are getting are kind of encoded. And so when they join, uh, yeah, uh, things are encrypted. So there, there's no way for them to see who's in uh, the room with them or, or to modify those URL parameters. Okay. Well, that, that's the general idea, guys. Um, thank you.